What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Just Play J back with another video for you guys. And in today's video, I want to um, kind of give a tutorial on how to uh, improve the performance of the harder to emulate uh, PS2 games on the Ether SX2. And so, I mean, I just did a little bit of tinkering around and I was able to just kind of find some ways or at least some options, um, settings to um, actually make some of the harder to emulate games such as like God of War 2 or like Ratchet and Clank and even Jack 2 play a little bit better. So hopefully um, this helps. Um, again, these settings uh, will not show, you know, um, be like 100% accurate as far as performance goes, but at least you'll see better gameplay compared to like, uh, you know, the default settings that you may see or like, you know, maybe your other settings. So I'm hoping that this video does help. So I pretty much just want to get started with how I um, set up. So I'm going to go to um, black and uh, I'm just going to kind of show you my settings. And these are very important settings to utilize for practically almost all the games here. So I do have a um, save state. So let me just go ahead and load one of these here. So let's see, I'll start with this one. This is from the beginning. So you can kind of see my movements here. Like, I mean, I know maybe for some of you, this appears to be, you know, fluid, but there are parts in the game where it seems like there's quite a bit of slowdown. So like right now, you know, it looks like I'm, you know, it looks fairly smooth because you're just inside a general room, but in certain areas, it looks like, you know, it, it just, there's just some slowdown, but, I mean, this is me just kind of using the improved settings on Ether SX2. So, hopefully, this helps you guys out a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna swap here. Get the grenade. You know, one day eventually I'll play, you know, I'll play this game to the fullest. I mean, this seems to be a fun game. I think for a PS2 game, it has one of the best gra graphics ever known. So, props to them. So, whoever created this game. Okay. Let me just go here. Collect my health pack here. And but usually this is the part where there's like quite a bit of slowdown. But like again, like I said, I just kind of tweaked the settings a little bit and there's a little bit more fluidity in the game, the gameplay overall. And I'll kind of show you how I did that in just a second. But I just want to kind of show you like at least for this specific game, like how the settings work. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh, he's still alive. Okay, let me finish him off here. Did I get him? Ooh, right out the window. Somebody shooting at me? Okay, I see another person here. Now, there's a little bit of slowdown, but there's improved gameplay as I go. Okay. So it kind of speeds up a little bit when there's not a lot of uh, action going on, but slows down just a bit, but doesn't really take too much away from the game. Okay, let me finish him off. I have bad aim right now. Maybe because I'm just shooting this video and I'm trying to get the precision of my gameplay here. Right in my face, huh? Okay. Okay, it's too slow. Let me put it in burst fire mode. There we go. Okay. And it also depends on how you tweak the settings as well, too. So it may vary. There's parts where it speeds up and there's parts where it just kind of slows down. But the general settings, I mean, I'll, this, these are, I mean, like when I, you know, get to the settings, this, this is just generally what I would recommend. So I'm just kind of showing you guys how the, the gameplay for at least um, on black here. Okay, got the health kit, got the photo. Okay, anything else in here? Okay, nothing here. Let me just go around here. Okay. 
Okay, burst mode's not doing it for me, so fully automatic. There we go. It's a little bit of stutter here and there, but again, it's improved gameplay. Okay. All right. So quickly, um, this is what I did. So, um, and I think maybe a lot of people may, may miss this when they uh, do this in their settings. Um, so you don't want to go into the, the cog um, part where, it's, of course, your initial settings. You want to go into the eye, the one with the eye icon. And that's just for specifically your game. So in case you like mess up or something like that, you want to kind of go back to your default settings. You can actually just clear it. But what I did was actually went to um, system settings and on here, you, you can actually adjust the cycle, uh, EEI, um, cycle rate. Um, I have it right at 100% um, default, but I mean, and then you can also change. Now, what I've noticed is that um, if I go past zero, then it starts to, the screen starts to flicker a little bit, just specifically for this game. So for those that have played black, you guys may like if you guys put it on, like, let's say uh, mild or moderate or maximum underclock, the the screen would just start flickering as you're playing the game and a lot of people may be fine with that but you know for me when i'm playing the game i don't like all that flickering going on so i just keep it at zero but you can change the e cycle rate to your like underclocking to however you see fit um i mean i'll say 75 60 percent um, fairly safe um if you go 50 then it might you know it might look a little flashy or it might look like the frame skip is a little too high but I would recommend, I mean, I would recommend either like 60% at the lowest or like 75% 75 is that sweet medium. So, but that's what, that's what I um, kept it at. Oh, let me put it back to 100%. Don't want to mess that up. Oh, I'll keep it at 75%. But actually, you know what? Let me just show you guys what that looks like if I just keep it at um, 75%. So let me uh, go back here. So you see like how, like as I'm playing the game, the screen is kind of flickering a little bit. You can kind of see the screen just kind of flickering. Yeah, you have a little you have a little bit of faster speed, but the screen flickers, and you don't want that. I mean, unfortunately, that's very unfortunate because it does improve the speed of the game, which is you know fairly good. So, but I'm not a fan of that. So I just kind of like just put it back on. Um, of course, in your system settings, just keep it at like 100%. Well, no, no, I'm sorry. You can keep it at 75% but you want to keep the underclock at just normal at zero and so i'll go back to that okay so speeds improved you know still the same fairly but you don't see any more of that flickering so that that you don't want so you just want to kind of have normal gameplay where the screen's just normal you can kind of see where everything is you don't have any distractions that type of thing okay so that's what that looks like so like I said, just keep it at zero. Um, I got big fingers here, so forgive me for that. Um, so yeah, you go to your system settings, and like I said, 100%, 75% at your EE cycle rate, or 60% at the lowest, maybe even 50%. It, I mean, you just choose whatever's comfortable for you. I mean, that should be okay. But here's the fun part here. So basically, um, a lot of people will disable the frame limit. If it, I mean, it says if you do, the system will run as fast as possible. Don't do that because if you do, it's pretty much taking the joy out of the game. You know, you don't want to do that. So you want to kind of keep it at enable frame limit. And again, you know, you, when you choose a specific game, just make sure to hit, you know, hit that eye um, icon, not the cog icon. For the the cog icon is your general settings, and the eye icon is specifically for your the settings for your game. So you just want to keep it there. And so when I'm enabling the frame limit, you want to make sure you um, hit this check mark here. Otherwise, it'll stay at default, which is the 100% speed. But to improve the speed and performance of the game, you want to actually increase it by, at least for me, my, my, my sweet medium is, or my, my good range is 100%, 110% from normal of normal speed. And that'll increase the speed of the game without really deterring too much from the gameplay. And so, and that's pretty much it for the system settings. Now, when you go to your graphic settings, I mean, 
hopefully if you go like, I'll just do this real quick your universal settings should be at so if you put it on the graphics um, you should have it at Vulkan renderer and then one times native resolution I mean you can choose to have it at you know a high resolution but I'll say at most maybe 1.25 depending on the game because this is a heavy game I would keep it at one one times native resolution but you want to make sure that you're adjusting your settings so basically don't touch anything here but if you want to you can just kind of just go into your GPU renderer and just set it to Vulkan and then your upscale multiplier to um, you know one times native resolution so that way um, you, you're ensured that you have it on the Vulkan settings and but this is one th thing that people miss here so I'm, I'm scrolling right to like under graphic settings um, make sure to um, well I think I did it for my universal settings for this, this, this video here. So I'm going to go to graphics. So you can choose whether to have it on your game or to your universal settings, but it works for all of these. You want to make sure that you select host VSync. So that's basically a synch your frame presentation synchronization. So basically it just kind of um, refreshes the, the, the frames to kind of make your game as smooth as possible. And then your thread of presentation so basically it just says submits presents frames on a background thread using the Vulkan renderer so basically since you have it on Vulkan it definitely improves the performance of you know the Molly devices so like whether you have a um, retro pocket flip just like I do now recently and um, I have this RG505 here or the retro pocket 3 plus um, anything that has a Unisoc Tiger or a Mali GPU like a Unisoc Tiger T618 chip it should perform a lot better so you want to make sure you have these selected and so that's pretty much it just generally these settings for you know a host of the um, harder to emulate games it should run uh, I mean a lot better than you know than what you're used to so I'm gonna get out of this and um, let's see let's see if I can so I'm gonna get out of this and then I'm gonna try playing God of War 2 so you can kinda see what I'm talking about so I have my settings, okay, once it comes on, hopefully, okay. So I have a save state. Uh, let me look, go ahead and load the state real quick. I'm going to go to this portion right here. And before I play, I'm going to show you my settings. And this is a good spot for it. And this is the general settings for God of War 2. I have it on, you know, Vulcan render and one times native resolution. But in my game settings, oops. Let me go to my game settings. I have big thumbs here. Forgive me, guys. If you go, I go to my main settings. I have this is my my comfortable spot right here. I have it at 75% uh, um, EE cycle rate, and then I have it at moderate underclock it, um, which is the two, and then my frame limit that's enabled. I have it at 110%. I pretty much have that for all of my games here, so you're going to see that in all of my games. And then for my graphic settings. It's on Vulkan, so I just want to make sure I had it on Vulkan. Upstairs one one X, and then my hot V sync is on, and my threaded presentation is on. All right, so once you have all that you know set up, this is what the game's going to look like. So let me go back. You see how well that runs? It looks very playable, and that's what I like. I mean, you have a little bit of slowdown, but it's not, it's much better than before. Like, I feel like I'm, I can play this game comfortably. Looks really good. A lot better. Okay, let me do some lightning on these. I mean, it just improved the performance drastically. So, I mean, definitely, definitely a lot better than what you would see in like, you know, um, gameplay videos. Like I said, as long as you have your hot feed sync on. Did my thing just freeze up? Oh, it crashed. I mean, that's the first time, guys. Trust me, this, you know, for some reason, I don't know if I pressed a button or something like that, but it's not, it doesn't crash like that too often, but maybe because I'm recording this video. Maybe it was just trying to tell me to go to the next one. So 
I know you guys are curious about like Jack 2 and like Ratchet and Clank, so I'm gonna show you guys Jack 2, okay? All right, so and I guess um, it was saying that it may break some games, but when I've been when I was testing this out, I mean, it's the first, this is the first time it actually crashed on me. Like I said, maybe because I'm recording this video and it's like, okay, let me not just spill all my secrets. So Jack 2 is like one of those difficult games to, you know, really kind of like get to the perfect setting. But and with these settings, you're not going to actually have perfect gameplay, but it's going to be improved gameplay. So again, I have it at, you know, EE cycle rate of 60 percent and then my moderate underclock at two level two. And then with this one, frame limit is at 100 percent, 110 percent normal speed. And then with my graphics settings, I have it at Vulcan 1x native resolution because any less than that is gonna look a little more uh, pixelated. So I wanna have it look as close to, you know, console perfection as possible. And so, yeah. So let's see if I can um, just load my, my save state here. So I'm gonna load state and let's see. I'm gonna, let's see, I wanna, Go here. Okay, let's do this. Okay, I had it paused. Let me raise the volume up here. Unfortunately, guys, I can't. Um, I can enable and disable the subtitles, but um, I can't have to get past this whole FMB sequence before I can show you the gameplay on this thing. I mean, I love to you know fast forward this, um, but just for the sake of this you know sequence, I have to. I wish I would have saved. I didn't do a save state to the gameplay. I just okay. Here we go. So, a little bit of gameplay improvement here. Much better. Okay, we done? Okay. Cool. And then I'll show you like the um, the hover car sequence as well too. But you kind of get an idea of like how the game plays. I mean with these settings, it's much better than what you've seen in other videos and stuff like that. Even my, my other, my, my previous um, Ether SX2 video. Um, it had some it had some decent settings, but at least for like the God of War 2s and like the Ratchet and Clanks and the Shadow of Colossuses, which I will show you in this video as well too. Um, I didn't have the proper settings. I just kind of discovered this, um, you know, not too long ago, and I was like, okay, let me just test these out and let's see if we can make this these games more playable. So, like I said, this this is not n nearly as perfect, but it's much better than before. Okay, so now I just got to turn around and I'm pretend like I never driven driven before. Okay, move out of my way, out of my way. Not in the mood. Let's go. Ah, I do not know how to drive, guys. But you can see how this plays a lot better. Try not to run over people, if, if that's a thing. I'm trying to follow this uh, this knife thing on the map below, if y'all can see it. But okay, I'm close. Oops. Oh well. Let me get another one. Let's steal this one. Okay. There we go. Oops. I have no driving skills, guys. But it's not about me playing the game, or it's not me trying to demonstrate how I play the game. It's about the performance. That's what you guys are here for, so.
And that's what I'm here to show you. Okay, I reached a dead end. Let me go around. Out of my way, yep. There it is. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Um, I wish I could show you more, and I think I'll, you know, I will show you some more. But I have to, you have to go through like all the screen sequences, and just for the sake of this video, I want to kind of move on from this. So I'm going to actually exit the game, and I'm going to show you guys Ratchet and Clank. At least my settings for that as well too. Now I just want to let you guys know I this is the, this was actually the first game I tested because um, a lot of people were just like oh how do you do settings for Ratchet and Clank and I was just like I don't know I'm I, I, that's, that was just one thing I wanted to do as a project and I was like let me just you know just play around with this fit around with the settings see what works for me so after a lot of trial and error I was like you know what this is the closest I can get to. Um, oh, I forgot I have a save state. But before I do that, let me show you my settings once again so you guys can see what I'm doing here. So in system settings, I have it at 100% um, um, cycle rate, but I can also change it to like 75%. And then I always have it at moderate underclock. And then my frame limit is again 10% um, at normal speed. Graphic settings um, is at Vulcan, one times native resolution, and then I have my hot my host VSync, not hot VSync. I'm sorry, guys, host VSync, and then my three D uh, my threaded presentation just to improve the Vulcan per performance of the game. So um, just to at least get it to a uh, playable state, if you will. So. Um, Again, like I said, the lowest you can probably put this at is like 60%, but I think maybe 75%, at least for this game, I'm going to actually just keep it at 100, keep it 100, y'all, and then um, we'll go from there. So I'm going to go to my load state, and then we are going to go right here, and you can kind of see this is playable. And I know certain parts when you like turn around the screen, it appears faster because there's not a lot of, um, you know, a lot of background or like a lot of caching or whatever it is. But I mean, just this part, you know, there was a lot of slowdown. So, and again, it was not fun at all. It's like wow, what? But just uh, it's fairly impressive. You can move a little bit faster. It's still playable. Not 100%, but at least you can somewhat enjoy the game. You get two. But do y'all see that? It looks, it looks Playable. It's not as slow. Um, let me fall off a cliff. I'm going to try and start from the beginning. Let me see if I can do. I think that's what I can do to start from the beginning. So I'm going to fall on purpose. I already have my save state. Sorry, Ratchet. Okay. So I'm starting from the beginning. This is the beginning of the stage. Some parts are going to look a little smoother than others, but. But just look how playable that is, just from my, my, my initial settings. Okay, there's a little bit of slowdown. Still playable. Get out of here. 
Yeah, so let me know what you think, guys. I mean, do y'all like what, like what you see? I mean, did I help you guys a lot? Uh, just let me know in the comments below. And if there's any other games you want me to test out and see if it can be playable in this type of state, then um, just drop me a comment below. And for those that are watching my video, just be sure to subscribe, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it, guys. It helps me out a lot. Okay, let's rotate the screen a little bit. Again, there's a little bit of slowdown, but at least, you know, it's, it's playable. It's not like super slow. It's not turtle slow. At least you know that this game is manageable, so. Ouch. I was going to say, you're going to get a bomb, but, you know, you're good. You're good. Okay, it's at the end of that, so I just need to go the other route. Just rotate the camera a little bit. You get an idea. Got him. Yep, so that's what that looks like. Yep, very playable, guys. So hopefully you guys can utilize these settings. And um, I'm hope I mean, hopefully you guys can uh, have a nice, enjoyable experience. Um, okay, so yeah, the last game I have here, um, I'm just going to do like a, this is just going to be like a run around of, you know, the guy on the horse or whatever. Um, but... At least the settings seem to be a little bit better. Let me see if I can get to my load state here. Um, let me just show you my initial settings for this one. And I know that you guys may just pause the video as I'm speaking, but I have it at um, the 60% EE cycle rate. And then I have the EE cycle skip of moderate underclock at two and 110%, which is the, the, the sweet spot for you know your speed, 110% 100%, speed. And of course, you got to have it on, you know, well, I'll just say, you know, you just put it on Vulcan and then you have your upscale to like one times native. But that's my general settings for all of my games. And then you would still make sure to have it on the host VSync. Just make sure to turn that on. Make sure to turn your, turn your threaded presentation on and you should be good to go. So hopefully, you know, let's go ahead and load the state here. I have this on, so... You can see this. Oops, let me turn around here. Gotta make sure my horse is right in the direction. Okay, let me turn around. Oops. Let me see. see I can turn around fluidly. Look at that. It's a lot better. It's a lot better. Like it was. You you see a lot of frame skipping, but this one. Um, the gameplay appears to be smoother. I mean, I haven't got to a Colossus yet because that's where you have to really get the, the real gameplay. So, so I got to head in this direction here. Does this horse ever get tired? We are okay. I'll try to see if I can reach the Colossus. 
see if that does any difference here. It may take a little bit, but we'll see. Uh, let me get off this horse. Okay, maybe not. Let's see. By using R1, you can grab onto places. Oh. There it is. Oops. There it is. I got to hold on to R1. That's crazy. Okay. Oops. Ooh, that's painful. Okay, I got to learn that. You can tell I don't play this game a lot, guys. Oops. The question is, how do I... Do I just... Oh, do I just keep pressing up? Or, let's see. Is it... Okay. Nope, I don't want to stab. I'm not trying to stab anybody, so let's... Okay. Is there a tutorial? Okay. I know it's like, I want to grab and then something, but... Again, forgive me guys, I have not played this game in so long, or actually, I don't play this game much at all. I'm trying to figure out how to get up here, but nope, not like that. Do I, do I press circle? Is it by a triangle? Oh, there it is. Okay, perfect. I figured it out, guys. Okay, I feel good about life. Okay, I'm just trying to, am I going the right way? Let's see. To adjust the camera, so I'm right analog sticking to adjust the camera. Okay. Now, what do I do here? Do we just run across? Oh, oops. Oops. Oh, there it is. Oops. There it is. So I gotta keep pressing triangle and R1. And then triangle again, okay. That's cool, all right. And then I run and I jump, there it is. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this. So I press R1 and triangle at the same time to dive roll. There it is, okay. I'm trying to get to this Colossus for you guys, so. Oops. Oops. Getting the hang of it, getting the hang of it. Okay. Are we there yet? Okay, more climbing. Cool. Okay, I figured that out. That's awesome. Okay, I think I made it. Now we can get an idea of how improved this is. Again, not perfect, but it looks slightly better, I guess. But I mean, this is okay. Switch weapons. Let me uh, let me actually go ahead and save this real quick because I uh, don't want to lose that spot. So I'm gonna save it to stay, save state two. L1 to look at the Colossus. Mm -hmm. Like me looking for trouble.
Look at me asking for trouble. There he is. There he is. How you doing, buddy? Oh, he's big. Uh-oh. Ooh, he's big. Ooh. Ooh. Hold thy sword to reflect light unto the Colossus, his vice shall be revealed. What vi- oh, there's his vitals, okay. He's running away from me. He's scared. Uh-oh. I forgot how to take this thing down, guy. I mean, this thing down. Oh my goodness, man. Okay, yeah, it's been a minute. Is he running away? Oh, okay, it's been a minute. Okay, well, anyway, I'm going to stop it here, guys, because uh, I totally forgot how to play the game. Um, but you kind of get the gist of the improved performance of the game. So it plays a little bit better. It's not as slow i mean still slow but it's not 100 percent perfect but um i was glad i was able to at least um just provide some um you know at least a little tutorial on how to improve some of the harder to emulate games like jack 2 god of war black god of war i mean god of war 2 ratchet and clank all that stuff so um again um hopefully you guys um got something from this video um, like I said, if you want me to test out some more games that are hard to emulate, just let me know in the comments below. And you haven't, if you haven't subscribed, sub subscribed to my channel, um, please be sure to do so. Um, I'm trying to, you know, at least do some more gameplay again, especially when I got the uh, retro pocket flip. So hopefully you guys can kind of, um, you know, just see some gameplay from, you know, the retro pocket flip. And I'll also be doing a, a tutorial on the Wii emulator. I mean, the, the Dolphin emulator with uh, Wii settings and stuff like that. So hopefully you guys can just let me know in the comments below uh, what you think, uh, what games you want me to try out and all that stuff. Sorry, it looks a little dark in here. I didn't turn my lights on. So, but regardless, I was glad to show you guys this tutorial on how to improve the performance on the EtherX2 for the hardest to emulate games. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.